There once was a timid girl who did her best to be agreeable and didn't do much to ruffle the comfortable security she blanketed herself in. She lost herself in stories and woods and meandered along quietly under familiar constellations. One November evening, as the sky turned a dusky pink and her dog sniffed along at her heels, she started to feel a pull. My life really was about to supernova and it was because you swept into it. Sitting on the sofa, slurping a big mug of tea, half watching a TV show we've seen a dozen times, a coming back in track to our conversation about our days, our thoughts, feelings, hopes and dreams, laughing and reminiscing of our many adventures while hatching some exotic plan for our next one. Warm, safe and happy. That sums up my life, my home, with you. You're a beautiful and endless font of whatever good stuff they poured into the universe to make the wind sing and the aurora's glow. Your energy and your smile are infectious. Your mind is unfathomable. <laughs> you make me laugh more than I've ever laughed before and the world is a much more exciting place with you in it. For almost 25 years, I've hunted for magic in books and forests and castles. But little did I know it was in a person all along and that fate would have it so that we would meet. You are the kindest, most compassionate and caring person I've ever met. I am so lucky that you have agreed to spend the rest of your life with me. Whenever I see you or even think of you, I smile. I feel your love every minute of every day and I hope I bring the same sense of warmth, comfort and support to you. I love your weird and wonderful smile, your brilliant mind, your conviction, but also your gentleness, your bright, beautiful eyes, your open heart, and I love everything that makes you, you. David and Rebecca, you have made here today the declarations that are prescribed by law and a solemn and binding contract with each other. You have sealed that contract with the giving and receiving of rings and by virtue of the declarations made by you both in my presence and in the presence of these witnesses, it is my privilege and pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations. It's been our joy to watch a talkative, inquisitive little girl grow into an intelligent, independent, strong-willed and successful young lady. Today I see before me a beautiful new bride in a stunningly gorgeous, if not slightly <coughs> overpriced wedding gown. <laughs> it was my privilege to accompany you down the aisle as you start the next chapter of your life. I could always tell that David and Becca were absolutely smitten with each other and to watch the relationship between them grow to what it is today has been an absolute joy and pleasure and I'm very thankful to be a part of the journey. The usual thing to say here is that I have not lost my sister, I have gained a brother-in-law. So I'd like to thank you for bringing Becca out of her shell and getting her to experience the fun things in life. I really do like the new version of my sister. And finally, and most importantly, to Rebecca and David, the new Mr and Mrs White, I wish you both all the best, love and happiness in your marriage. To the bride and groom, 